It's not sunshine and rainbows all the time in the world of game development. As we found out, Blizzard, the company that creates games that you play and enjoy, has fired 20 people and most of them are women, but sources say that they left after harassment problems. Now why? Why would Blizzard, a multi-billion dollar company, risk their future over this issue? Did they really harass those poor people? Are AAA game companies not the paradise where every single game developer wants to work? Well, I am not Sherlock Holmes here, but my name is Fah here and I help game developers build their dream games and get hired in their dream studios. So if you are in that kind of stuff, make sure that you subscribe. And in this video, we are going to take a look at this issue and get to the bottom of it and see, is Blizzard guilty? Are the employees guilty? Am I guilty? Are you guilty? Let's find out together. The firm has spent the last several months dealing with a handful of lawsuits and claims about its allegedly toxic workplace environment. More than 20 other employees have faced disciplinary action, it is said in a letter to staff on Tuesday. Some of those known to have left include high-profile game developers. It's truly interesting how all of these people are suing them over toxic workplace environment. I mean, how big of a coincidence would it be to get 20 people together to lie over the same problem? And as as they state, some of these are high profile game developers. Shit, maybe there are even some people we personally know or from YouTube that are working under their name being dehumanized and used. And this is a big issue that happens with a lot of big companies, including game development companies, unfortunately. And that's why I emphasize in my Game Dev Academy that you pack yourself with skills that you are not dependent on a company. And even if you leave on your own or get fired, for whatever reason, you are skilled enough to land a next job in a short period of time, or you can work freelance, or you can sell your own projects or whatever, but you are not dependent on a single company. And this is what I emphasize inside the academy. But let's hear what Blizzard has to say about all of this. The company's chief compliance officer, whatever that is, Francis, whatever his last name is, said that staff who violate its policies will be terminated or disciplined regardless of their seniority or however this word is pronounced. We call it as we see it, she told the Financial Times. It doesn't matter what your rank is, what your job is. If you committed some sort of misconduct or you're a leader who has tolerated a culture that is not consistent with our values, we're going to take action. The impact on the business is not a consideration. Maybe they consider not allowing themselves to be harassed some kind of violation? I don't know. I'm not sure. California's Department of Fair Employment and Housing took legal action against the company in July following a two-year investigation. It accused the gaming giant of having a frat boy culture in which female employees are subjected to unequal pay, retaliation, and harassment which it said the company was failing to prevent. Activision Blizzard denied any wrongdoings and continues to fight the case. However, it sparked hundreds of employees to stage a walkout on August and more than 2,000 staff also signed a petition in response. These are really interesting things and yet, you know, they are claiming they're innocent. I don't know. But arm yourself with enough skills that you don't have to go through this BS, okay? They broke the first rule of committing a crime. Commit one crime at a time. Don't commit a crime while you're under investigation for another crime. <laughs> As you can see, it's not all rainbows and sunshines in this industry like in any other industry because they are good and bad people and we know that. But I hope that these people will find better jobs under better circumstances and I hope that God has something better in plan for them. And as I said, going back to what I mentioned before it's always good to arm yourself with different skills to build a brand out of yourself don't be just some known developer who works in a company have presence online and I show you tricks to that in my Game Development Academy, how to build presence, how to build a following. And I show you the secrets that very few developers know how to basically not worry about a job ever again because you will be well structured with a good portfolio, with a good reputation to find another job in a matter of, you know, in a short span of time. So if you are into that stuff, you can check it out. Link will be down below. Other than that, let me know what you think about this issue because I'm really bothered with this. This industry is supposed to be a about fun, about providing entertainment to people, giving back to the society in that way. So, there, people who are doing this are making this industry look bad. Anyways, let me know what you think about this down below. 
and I will see you guys in the next video.